Hi everyone, I'm Shan, uh, the project coordinator from PhysioTouch, and here is John, my colleague, and we are so happy to be here to introduce uh, our archive CMAP. Uh, before talking about the archive, I would like to have a brief introduction about PhysioTouch. Uh, we are a non-profit media arts organization from Hong Kong since 1986 and located in Cattle Depot uh, and Heritage Art Village. Video Media Arts Collection, FEMAT, was obfuscated in 2008. We represent more than 12 years of development in Hong Kong media arts. We have over 2,000 tapes, which included uh, video work, program, recording, movies, and over uh, 1,500 printed material in our FEMAT. And here are some pictures of our obsoleted video machines, just to let you have a look. And we are ongoing to digitalize the video uh, documentation that we caught um, in our past uh, uh, 15, five, uh, 13, five years. So digitalization is one of our important mission in FEMAP. After digitalization, we will categorize them and then doing the uh, data entry and try to at doing the tagging. So we are not only digitalized the old format video artwork, but we also uh, to digitalize the past program documentation. Uh, for the printed material, we digitalize the invitation cards, brochure, leaflet, uh, which provide a rich overview and structure to our past program. We also found some curatorial statement essay from the early 18th in Hong Kong. Uh, we can learn how they study uh, video arts from the uh, Western, Western country part in the days. Uh, this material shows the trajectory of Hong Kong media art history, like what kind of subject, technology, issue uh, they are focused on, and something like, yeah. And while, while we digitalize this material, we are also preparing an online archive uh, for the public. Our target audience, mostly from the university students and lecturers or researchers. And we would like to engage more people to get in touch with our archive through our online system. Uh, uh, through this different type of material, our ultimate goal is to contextualize the materials and make it more systematic. Uh, like uh, here, take Microwave Festival 1997, as an example, you can find our seminar uh, video documentation, uh, uh, festival trailer, uh, screening preview, and then we have a brochure to provide the curatorial statement to give us an uh, overall structure to this festival. Uh, FEMA is not only preserve the old materials, we also keep and acquire different videos to our archive. We collect the artwork which we find or we think that have the historical value. Also, we are keep expanding our collection to Asia Pacific. Uh, we have finished a series of collections from China and Taiwan and ongoing to collect artwork from Macau and Malaysia. Each time we invited independent curator to give us advice about their local artists and history of video arts. Uh, we try to make a collaborative preservation on a bigger scale, uh, documenting wider picture of Asian media art history. We have published uh, FEMA's new Nestor since last year. Uh, we will introduce a video work and a past program to the public. In this picture, uh, this is a microwave festival, 1997, that used CD room as uh, their study medium in this exhibition. Uh, and then we also invite some local researchers that make articles based from their assets in our collections. And of course, uh, besides all the acquisition and digitalization, uh, we have public programs that show our collection. Recently, we collaborate with Hong Kong West Kowloon Art District Amplus and Hong Kong Art Basel. Uh, the screening program show uh, our selected works by us and the curator. So yes, thank you guys for the listening and then uh, Tomorrow, we have a panel discussion called Emerging Collaborative Presentation Project in Asia, which we invite uh, Ko John, 
uh, Kyle Chong and Xu Wai to be our speaker and moderated by John and our the other uh, colleague, Myra. So yeah, that's all. Thank you.